What's going on guys, it's Boston here. Today we're walking through my finished townhouse flip and I wanna give you guys a grand tour. It's been a long time coming. We are about to close on this one here in a couple weeks and I'm excited for this one because it was a small flip. We've been working on it for probably four or five months now from purchasing the property all the way to getting to closing. And to get this one finally closed and get that profit from the flip to roll into the next one is something really exciting to me. So let's take a look and uh, let's see what kind of changes we made to the property. So walking in from the front door, we pretty much did everything from the ground up. We did new flooring, new paint, new kitchen, cabinets, countertops, appliances. And I actually really like how the kitchen turned out. This countertop right here is quartz, I believe. And I was actually planning to put just cheap formica on there, but since from here to the end of the countertop is about three feet, just over three feet, it would need to be a custom size for the formica. And honestly, the formica was probably $200 cheaper than the quartz. So it's kind of a no brainer. Just go with the quartz because honestly, it looks so much nicer. I'm glad we went with this. But this was an extra $2,500 I was not accounting for. But overall, I really like how the kitchen turned out. In my opinion, the kitchen appliances should be stainless steel and they should look pretty new because that's what sells right now. Moving on to the first floor bathroom. Same thing, you know, same floors, the toilet, tub, nice and bright, new light fixtures, vanity, and then went with used washer and dryer actually to save a little bit of money because it's a flip you know these work perfectly fine we actually got both of them for 300 dollars total so 150 each is a pretty good deal rather than spending you know a thousand twelve hundred dollars for both of them at lowe's or home depot and going into the living room kind of the same thing light gray paint all around, new trim, show off the flooring a little bit. So this kitchen here, we stuck with the old layout and we were actually thinking about putting cabinets along the walls here and along the back to kind of make it more open. But the deciding factor that stopped us from doing that is this wall here. And we wanted to take it out but we couldn't because the electrical box is right there. We'd have to do a lot of electrical work to move that box to a different location, and that is not something in our budget. So we just kept it, but I'm happy with how it turned out. New light fixture here the dining area and scraped the paint off that skylight to bring more natural light in so it doesn't look all disgusting. New carpet heading into the upstairs. I like how everything matches, everything is congruent. Like I said, we pretty much did the entire property. Went with this white and light gray theme. And heading into the second floor bathroom here, the LVP flooring matches the downstairs, vanities match, new toilet, and a new tub. So pretty much brand new bathroom here. And then going into the first bedroom here, this is the bigger bedroom of the two. Pretty standard bedroom here. We actually still have the original window in here, but we painted it white so it doesn't look old, I guess. But it still functions perfect. There's nothing wrong with it, so why waste a thousand bucks on a window when you can just paint the trim and make it look nice and pretty. So going into the second bedroom here, this is the smaller of the two. And I didn't know what I wanted to do with this bedroom exactly. And the reason being is because it has this loft. So obviously that's what we ended up doing with the loft. We didn't take it out, but it was weird because I'll show you here. So this loft area where the edge is right here, it actually pushed all the way to this wall and filled in all this space. That, you weren't getting any of that natural light from that window down here. So I was thinking if we should just take it out or if we should cut out a piece and make it the way we did. Because honestly, I like the loft. I think it's a really unique feature of this townhouse. And I'm glad we stuck with it. I don't know, what do you guys?
I think it's just kind of a cool little hangout area. You have bookshelves behind you and you can kind of just use it for storage or a little reading area or just a place to hang out. I don't know. For this flip, surprisingly, I would say the majority of things actually went to plan. The timeline extended a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I think total rehab took two and a half months. I was anticipating, you know, about two months. So just, you know, a couple weeks over, but still you want things to go as fast as possible because with flips, the more time it takes, the more money you're spending in your holding costs. But overall, this one went pretty well. We purchased this one for about $50,000 and it was in a lot worse condition than it is now. It wasn't livable. I mean, you can go back to uh, prior videos to see what condition it was in. It was kind of disgusting in here. So that's why we got a really good deal on it. And the total rehab was uh, probably about $50,000, maybe a little bit over, but I'll round down to $50,000. And then total holding costs is probably about another $10,000, I would say, ten dollars to $15,000. And then I would say $15,000. We'll just go on the safe side. So that's $115,000 right there in just costs. And then we have other costs such as closing costs, realtor fees, and title fees, you know, just miscellaneous costs that go into this, that's probably about another 10,000. Overall, that's $125,000 in costs there. Well, luckily enough, we got a full price offer on this property at 150,000. So that brings our profit on this property to $25,000. So for a small two bedroom townhouse condo like this, I would say that's not too bad and really happy with the results. And my camera's about to die, so that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the flip and what suggestions you think we should do on the next one. Until next time guys, that's it for this video.